like that and Cajun sound. You like that? I yeah. do, I do. Makes you hungry, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. All right. Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, even though the weather is perfect today, we are getting closer to the winter weather. It means it's time to break out the crock pot again. And even if we're foregoing the big celebrations, you still need good holiday appetizers. Yeah. I mean, even if it's just one or two people, I... That's, I'm all about the holiday food. Appetizer, appetite, it works. It works every yeah. single time. All right, I've got a fun and a super easy recipe for you guys today. You know those crock pot meatballs? You've made those on the show before. Yeah, those, oh, those are great. Oh, they are always a crowd pleaser. Now, this is a different take on that when using kielbasa sausage, okay? These are slow cooker kielbasa bites, and the prep time is like five minutes. It's no time at all. All right, here's a little video to show you what you need. Okay, a couple of packages of kielbasa sausage, 12 ounce jar of chili sauce, cup of barbecue sauce, any kind you like, cup of grape jelly, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of onion powder. So, just dump that chili sauce right into that crock pot, and then go ahead and add your barbecue sauce. I used like a hickory smoked barbecue sauce uh -huh. today. Then you've got your cup of grape jelly, couple of tablespoons of this Worcestershire. You literally throw it all together with a couple of, you know, just a little dash of those dry ingredients. And then you put it in there and you stir it up. That is all you do. Stir it up and that part is ready. Now, as for the sausage, you just take that out of the package and cut it into little bite-sized pieces that you would probably, you know, yeah. stab with a toothpick. Yeah. You know, if you're in a party or whatever. You put the lid on and you're done. I mean, that is it. A couple of hours on high, it can sit there four or five hours on low, and that is all she wrote. That's all you do. The, the, the one, the surprising thing, and I've used it before with the meatballs, and you did it again, the grape jelly. Yeah. yeah if you've never done this before, you go, what? Trust this grape jelly. Yeah, it's really good, and I think it's going to be good with the sausage. Now, here's something I like to do with kielbasa sausage, and you've had this at my house before. Yes, I have. You just take that ring out and throw it on the grill and grill it. Mm -hmm. Then you slice it into bites and just eat it like that, and it's yeah. fabulous. You don't have to pre cut it, just boom. Right, throw it just on, put the whole thing on take, yes. and blister it really good. Oh, makes yeah. it even better. I think that would be good here. If you did it that would first, be. Then you put it in here, but you know, there's only so much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, it would be good. I, I literally started this little party around 12 30 maybe today. Mm -hmm. um, now, I hope these aren't too hot, Tom. Make sure you don't burn yourself. But I I'm just going to get that. a small plateful so you can see. <laughs> it's just a small, dainty plateful. Well, it for is you. a small plate. Well, yeah. well, it's a small plate, but it's, and here's the thing about these you know, it's full of protein here, um, very savory. So it's going to keep your guests nice and full. So if you're looking for something to serve to your guests around holiday time, you know what? This is a crowd pleaser, and it, it can sit in that crock pot and stay warm all night. Could have some of that rice. So, yes. All right. So, here's another idea, okay? Yeah. Serve this over rice and call it a meal because there's a lot of sauce going on in here. So, now you could literally just take this, spoon it on, and there you go. You've kind of got dinner. What do you think about that? I think that this is really How good, is it? and it's not too hot. It's not At too hot. At least the one I had wasn't. I am a huge fan of this sausage, and again, I do think it would be great if you grilled it first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this, there's nothing wrong with this. Wow. Man, that's have delicious. Rice. You want some more rice? I'm going to have some. Oh, that, that whole thing's for you. Mm. But you go ahead, have all of it, Tom. I'm just Merry Christmas do this right to you. Mm -hmm. I will post the recipe, by the way, on our Facebook page. This is really very tasty. It is. It's, I, I think you're right. If you grilled it first, it would give that. Little crunch to it mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. grilling it does because you said, as you said, blister it blister. on the grill. Mm -hmm. You get that little crunch, and the kielbasa is just so good. This is a terrific recipe. You're not eating off this plate. I'm no, I'm eat eating off, off of this one here. But look at all the juice here. I mean, this is dinner. You're good to go. Anyway, all right, mm. I think it's a hit. Mm. It is, mm -hmm. absolutely. Very good. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Up next, mm. we'll be wrapping things up right here on Ozark's Live. Yeah, we'll be back for you now. Stay with us. It's real fun.